American pastor Andrew Brunson celebrates his return to the U.S. The evangelical Christian met with President Trump over the weekend after nearly two years of confinement in Turkey. White House correspondent Mark Irons has more. Mark. Wyatt, it was a joyful, prayerful homecoming for Pastor Brunson here at the White House, and his release marks a diplomatic victory for the president. He's back home, and we love the fact that he's back home. He's with his family, and he's a very happy man. President Trump today after a weekend with freed American pastor Andrew Brunson. From a Turkish prison to the White House in 24 hours, that's not bad. The president helped secure the release of Pastor Brunson on Friday. A Saturday Oval Office meeting gave Brunson a chance to say thank you. We especially want to thank the administration. You really fought for us, uh, unusually so, for, for the time uh, you took office. I know that you've been engaged. President Trump commending Brunson's wife, Noreen, for her persistence. She was calling and calling. She definitely loved you, let me put it that way. But she was calling and she wanted you out. Brunson had been held in Turkey since October 2016, accused of committing crimes on behalf of terror groups. The evangelical pastor who spent years doing ministry work in Turkey denied the charges. On Saturday, he prayed over President Trump. Lord God, I ask that you pour out your Holy Spirit on President Trump, that you give him supernatural wisdom to accomplish all the plans you have for this country and for him. Today we asked President Trump if sanctions imposed on Turkey would be loosened as a result of Brunson's release. We had no deal with Turkey. We don't make deal, any deals for hostages or prisoners. But I will tell you that I feel much differently about Turkey today than I felt about them two days ago. I have a very good feeling toward Turkey. Two days ago, I did not. So that helped. President Trump thanks Turkey for releasing Pastor Brunson. We also asked the president about another topic, whether he needs any concession before meeting again with North Korea. The president told us no. He said it's a complicated situation, but he predicted a lot of good things will happen. Wyatt. White House correspondent Mark Irons reporting. Thanks, Mark.